here I've got my sonar set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sonar inside and I'm going to sit down and give you a quick breakthrough of what this little beast can do. Just going to unhook it. You don't want to be leaving that in the sun. And we're going to set it down nice and easy like this. And as you can see, wow, I've got the fish symbol on my screen. How did I get that? Now sit back and I'm going to explain something to you that a lot of people are not saying. Now over here, I'm going to give you a quick example of what you can do with this thing. It is absolutely brilliant. There's things on here that no one is really showing you. We're going to go on traditional. I'm getting all this on my screen. What the hell is that? Can you see it there? I've got no idea. One day, I accidentally pressed the menu button. Dink. And it gave me sonar setup. Okay. What is this sonar setup thing? Scroll. Appearance. Noise rejection. People are telling you, oh, your sonar has to be a certain position so you don't get the noise and all of this. Well, all you got to do is go on the sonar rejection. Here, inter interference, low. Surface noise, hide. You don't need them, so take them off. We're going to go back. Appearance. I never even knew about this. I've only had this for like five days, and I'm trying to figure these things out. But sometimes, a lot of this is done accidentally. Appearance. Okay, let's go to appearance. Colour scheme. Oh, look, I can change my colour scheme. I can go to what I want. Let's see. Oh, I can have yellow, blue, yellow, blue, classic. Choose what you want from here. Let's go back, and I'll give you another example. Oh, fish symbol. Wow. People tell you, oh, could we get the arches, and you see what this is and what this is. It's off. Let's see about this. Oh, look, I can choose how I want my fish to appear. I want to to appear like this. Fish with bubbles, fish 21, I've got no idea what it is. Well, I'm going to use the basic fish symbol. Dink, and it's on my line here. Now I'm going back. Dink, and there. I've got no fish at the moment, but we'll just give it a break. As you can see, the two fish are still on, on my screen here. I don't have the arches, like the traditional arches. I've got a fish symbol. When you're going along on a boat, you can't keep looking at your screen all the time. You've got to see where you're going. Now, an important thing that a lot of people are not telling you is how do you change the frequency on this thing? It's simple, like I showed you before. Here I'm on 200 kilohertz using chirp. I'm going to go to the menu button again. See, I'm on frequency here. Press your arrow key and select what you want. Go up and down, chirp 77, and just go and select what you find best for you. They say the less the frequency in shallow water, the better it is. I'm only in 5 meters, so let's see what 77 looks like. We'll go up to chirp 77, okay. We're going to go back. And there I've changed the frequency of my screen. Each menu that you have pre-selected has a menu of its own. You can adjust them each individually to how you want them. And we'll go to frequency. chirp 450 for clear view or 800 you want to see what's on the bottom go for the 800 it does give you a clear view of what's on the bottom i don't know maybe you're searching for a you drop something overboard maybe there's a sunken ship or something the chirps 800 is better for that but it's up to you to choose the way you want i'm going back to chirp 455 kilohertz i want to press enter I'm going to go back, and that's on the screen. 